Hey y'all, Sam Deathy one here, and welcome back to our uh, Dark Souls 3 walkthrough. If you don't mind, please like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. Now, with that being said, let's continue on down this pathway. We'll explore the uh, hidden pathway that we unlocked that leads to a uh, uh, that leads to the uh, untended graves. It is a secret area that you, know, you can progress through the entire game without. Progress the entire game without having ever uh, run into it. But honestly, it's kind of one of my uh, uh, one of my favorite areas, actually. Uh, and the reason why is that, uh, well, you'll, you'll you'll see in a second. But here we are. And if this isn't a blast from the past, right here, <coughs> this is essentially the Firelink Shrine that uh, we come from. Except this is the actual Farling Shrine. This is something co uh, cool that I love that the, uh, the Dark Souls games do is that the uh, the hub, or yeah, Dark Souls game, Bloodborne, all the From Software games do is that the hub where you uh, stay at, <coughs> uh, there's actually a second location for the hub. Oh crap, we got those people again. Uh, but there's a second location for the hub in all of these, uh, in all of these uh, games. It's like, you know, the one that, uh, the main hub where we all stay at, it's not the, uh, I mean, it's still the real hub, but it's like a different world, almost. And that becomes very apparent here once we get up to the, uh, the Farling Shrine. So kill them, and we'll get the Ashen Estus Ring. Which, actually, I can't quite remember what that does. Let's see. I believe it's up here near the top. Here it is. Ah, uh, here it is, yeah. Increases force points restored with Ash and Estus Flask. Pairs with the, uh, the health aspect of it. But yeah, because, you know, we started over here, essentially. Uh, in that realm where we were at. So presumably, this right here is our body. But anyway. Going ahead, head on over here. This is reminiscent of, you know, where we picked up our uh, Estus Flash for the first time. And we'll get a crest right there. Let's see, sorry, I'll turn off notifications. This, this area's got this person. You remember these from, uh... uh these are the, uh... Maidens that deal bleed damage that you'll remember from the uh, Cathedral of the Deep area. And coming over here, be careful. There are booby dogs. Shield equipped for that, but uh, you know, hindsight's kind of 2020. And we'll come over here. Uh, the area that we didn't explore in the uh, 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 at the Farling Shrine that we use, so uh, we'll be making sure to come back here at some point in order to uh, kill our crystal lizard. But over here, there are two crystal lizards. This is kind of weird, actually. Well, we got kind of scuffed. We just kind of got stuck in the air where they could kind of attack us, but not really. Yeah, as you can see, we deal a heck of damage. And we got the ton of skills for defeating uh, that one as well. And I can go on ahead, head on back. Got a couple more items over here that we're gonna be grabbing. We got that Titanite chunk. Over here is gonna be another Titanite chunk. Oh. 
eliminate that doggo from uh, causing us irreparable harm. Oh, yeah, this Firelink Shrine, you know, is only accessed from inside of Lothric Castle. Which makes you wonder, you know, what kind of significance... What kind of significance it had with uh, the Kingdom of Lothric and... Oh, sorry, their Kingdom and with uh, Lothric and Lorien. Are you kidding me? Get me out of this death trap right there. Got stuck between a rock and a hard place. Oof, yep, gotta be careful. This whole area is, as you can tell, filled with strong enemies. Go. We did kill the dog with the crystal crime hilled. Or sorry, her spirit. Which I, it's fortunately, no bonfire up here like there is in the uh, <coughs> uh, like there is in the other game. This area should be familiar. So all y'all will pillage that corpse. Over here is going to be a hidden blessing. Of which we now have, what, two of it? No, we don't have two of those. Got a divine blessing and a hidden blessing. Now we're going to hold on to those. We're going to get ready to head on in here and fight our oh, good old buddy. Ah. Screw you. You can't really see him, but we're going to be fighting our uh, uh, buddy Gundrix again. Go ahead, heal up. Uh, let me check make sure I got everything all fine. Okie dokie, sorry about that, I'm back now, uh, someone just came to the doorway so I went to uh, answer it and <laughs> when I came back, naturally, you know, Souls came, uh, I was dead, an enemy had found me and killed me, but uh, it's all good now, we're back here, we got our souls again, let's go ahead and use an ember, And let's take care of that enemy so he doesn't accidentally follow us in. Because that would be bad. And now we are good to uh, head on in here. And you'll remember him, Camping Gundir. From the actual Champion Gundir. Oh! And his eyes just turned red. You're up. <coughs> Good, we're out of the room. Wait, him. Dodge out of that. There we go, dodge out of that. And there we go, we defeated him. But yeah, this is the original champion gun deer, not the, uh, the weird snake, snaky boy sealed one. We need to head on, <clears throat> head on over here, grab our uh, Black Knight Glaive, and rest at the bonfire. Now there's not too, too much else to do here. Uh, really we're just gonna be exploring Firelink Shrine, honestly. So, <clears throat> excuse me, there's no items hidden on like these main front pathways or anything like that. Uh,
there are some more of these knife boys though. So if we can't get up and get a uh... nope, we can't, but that's okay. Oh, oh, don't knock us. Oh, when we got so lucky we didn't accidentally roll off the edge of the cliff. But yeah, it's still got the gravestones. Ah, you are not nice. There we go. Knock him down. 660. But yes, you got a couple of those uh, <clears throat> knights that are wandering around. You can see coming up here, there's the entrance to the Farling Shrine. Uh, before we go through the entrance, though, we are going to head over to the right. She should be down here. No, doggo, please. Nope. No dog up, but there is another knife person. And we're gonna go ahead and just drag him over here, just the way we get away from the edge. Uh, that's liable to kill us. Ooh, he, he is barely able to block that, but that's okay. He can't contend with us. <clears throat> and we'll come over here and we'll grab another, uh, uh, another ring. Over here at Hawkwood's, or not Hawkwood's grave, but the grave that Hawkwood, you know, prays to. Uh, I guess knew someone here. Let me get the Hornet Ring. Oop. Lily almost just walked off of there. And before we go in, we're also going to go down the left pathway as well, real quick, to grab an item. Uh, heads up, we will again have. So we're not boy who's behind us. So we're just gonna run up here. We grab the Chaos Blade. Unfortunately, we can't get in right there. But no, Chaos Blade, very cool. That's another cool katana. And you're dead now. So yeah, that's pretty much, actually not pretty much, that is all of the uh, Silver Knights that are around here. Which is a good thing because we are running low on our Estus Flasks. So just coming back here to the front door. <coughs> and head on in, slash check out, ah, uh, the Firelink Shrine. You've got all the thrones the Lord Souls, just like, uh, <clears throat> just like we had over at our Farling Shrine. You go to the upper pathways as well. Over here is going to be a Coral Sword Fragment. Uh, before we head down to those lower levels, actually, let's head down to the lower levels right now. Uh, let's see, where's the main entryway? So we mainly came in, ah, so here we are. And you'll notice here, actually, that the uh, Shrine Handmaiden is well, still here. Fancy that. A lost lamb wandereth in with nary a peep from the bell. Well, thou shouldst my purpose know. What can this old handmaid provide thee? Yeah, the Shrine Handmaiden is <clears throat> here in all the areas. This is where you can buy... Artorius's armor set from Dark Souls 1 and the Priestess Ring. We are going to get the Priestess Ring. If you don't have a tower key already, you can get that here. And uh, You know what? Yeah, we're sitting on a lot of money. Let's just go ahead and buy Artorius set, just because. Artorius is a bad A, so. Best not tarry long. <laughs> Why not? Okay, thank you. You can come on over here, and Andre is not here, but we do have his blacksmith hammer that we can pick up. And that's mainly uh, all the items that are uh, down here in this uh, 
uh, bottom section. Actually, this entire uh, uh, area, these are all the items. There's just one more item that we have left to get. Uh, there are, you know, hidden walls and stuff like that. And it's right here. The eyes of a firekeeper. You can see there's the firekeeper right there. They're all dressed in the uh, traditional firekeeper garb and stuff like that. But yeah, that is it. This is <clears throat> Untended Graves, the untended Firelink Shrine that actually exists in the real world. Which again, begs to differ what exactly is the Firelink Shrine that we come from. I mean, we do know its purpose already, because its purpose is, uh, uh, its purpose is our purpose. In order to go ahead and defeat... The souls of a, uh, uh, the Lords of Cinder in order to reignite the flame. I'm not going to mess with that anymore. We can get the Seed of a Giant as well here by going to the Giant Porch, uh, boy. Speaking of, let's see, these are key items. Tools. Just want to look at, uh, which is Seed of a, a Giant Tree. Giant trees and those watcher trees and their seeds unmasking invaders. But yes, yeah, so, but also makes a difference. This untended grave is technically in the, <clears throat> you know, the real world. This can act as a Lothar Castle, Cathedral of the Deep, and all that stuff. Then how do those people that we end up saving, uh, such as you know Patches, Corinx, Carla, all of them, how do they end up at the other one and not this one? Does that mean that they're dead too, or? Well, sucking the obvious. I mean, they can they can teleport back and forth between uh, using their bonfires as well. But anyway, <clears throat> enough with that. Went ahead and successfully gotten through uh, untenant graves. We'll go ahead and travel. And notice how from this tab, uh, there's no falling shrine on the bottom just because it's at the top. But this is part of the uh, Cemetery of Ash. I mean, we're going to head over to the Farling Shrine. We'll go ahead and level up some. And then we'll walk a little bit backwards from the other far <coughs> from the other Farling Shrine. I'm just going to call that one the main Farling Shrine. Just because it's, you know, the main one we utilize. Welcome home, speak. But, uh, <coughs> Very well. well, we'll hold off on giving her the uh, Eyes of a Firekeeper for right now. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's go to Leveleton. Uh, I think Leveleton's still got a couple more spells to apply from him. If not, then we'll head over to the uh, uh, our next shopkeep down there to buy some spells. Ah, uh, and tis as if we did all we could to smudge. As mayhap of what the thin light of these eyes might reveal. Oh, she's talking about the fight keeper eyes. Whoopsie. Keeper. Scenes of betrayal. <coughs> Things never intended for her can. Visions of this age's end. In transposition, we can now with uh <laughs> Osiris says he's got this spell, which we could buy, and there's also uh What's his other one? Oh, right here. The Moonlight Great Sword, which we already talked about. Yeah, okay, we'll get White Dragon's Breath. Just picking up all our uh, sorceries. All of our spells, actually. <coughs> anyway, if you give the Firekeeper the eyes of the Firekeeper, that will lock you into the uh, uh, the ending of Fire Ending, which is the second of the three main endings that you can uh, get that you get achievements for. And then the third one is... Uh, you know, lighting the fire, reigniting everything. So, or I'm sure right now as to which ending we are going to go for, whether it's the ending of fire <coughs> or linking the flame again. Uh, so we'll just hold on to the eyes for right now. Uh, if, let's say, you did give her the eyes, but then you're like, oh, I changed my mind, I don't want to do the ending of fire ending, then you could just kill her because the, uh, the shrine maiden, uh, the, not the shrine maiden, sorry, the firekeeper respawns. 
every time when you refresh the area when you kill her. So you can just kill her and she will have dropped the eyes for you. <clears throat> now, Crystal Lizard, come to Papa. Real easy to kill just because he's, uh, <laughs> you know, he's from this very start first starting area. We'll go ahead and pick up this soul of an unknown traveler. <clears throat> now, the last thing that we're probably going to do is let's see, let me check my notes. Yeah, we don't have much else to do in this game. We have uh, the Arch Dragon Peaks, we have the uh, DLC, and we have uh, finishing up the game. And uh, beating the uh, Lord of Cinder. So I'll probably go ahead, head back. Uh, we'll spend these souls we have, and then we'll start prepping for uh, uh, the Arch Dragon Peak. We'll just, you know, head over to the area where, uh, to the entryway in order to access that area, and then we'll leave off there. Yeah, so Lothar Castle is now successfully completed. Will you remember the other maiden I talked to? Ashen One. How may I be of service? Doesn't look like it. <clears throat> Let's see down here. Let's see. Have anything of interest? No. We'll just go ahead and buy it. Ashen one. Let's see, have I exhausted uh, all pyromancies with you? I believe I have. But I want to check just to be sure. Oh yeah, I have. Do not be gone. Do you want to do Carla? Yes. No, there's still quite a few that are left. We'll go ahead and do that. They were missing 10, 20, 28,000 souls for that. Oh, and while we're here, because we haven't done it yet, let's go ahead and give Orpix some more scrolls. Again, I, I suppose this means. I got here's a crystal scroll oh, for you. <clears throat> this is a crystal sorcery created by the Pale Dragon. Only to exist in yep. I am ever grateful to you. This is truly sublime. Thank you. I am afraid this is a debt I cannot repay. Only teach me the spells for free. I will be sure to unravel it for you. Just a moment. Last but not least, we'll give him Logan's scroll. Oh my! You've made quite the discovery. This is a scroll of the prodigious Big Hat Logan. A masterful sorcerer, long missed in Vinheim. In Icon and Dark Souls 1. And now we have a scroll. Right here in my very hands. And this unlocks a bunch of sorceries. It's a good thing is that not oh, too many of these sorceries are super expensive, like the Pyromancy ones, but the ones that are, are even more expensive, like the Homing Crystal Soul Mass is 18,000. Crystal Soul Spear is 15,000. Uh, but overall, strong uh, abilities and for anyone who's doing a sorcerer build. Come again. I will be sure to come again. Thank you. <sighs> We're not going to put this uh, ashes for uh, Lothric up there yet, because that will kind of... It, it will unlock us into the ending, but it does uh, give us the option then in order to get to the final... Uh, to fight the final boss, which we're not going to be doing quite yet. But anyway, we'll want to make sure that we travel to uh, the Irithil dungeon. Here we are. <clears throat> we'll start heading on down, making our way uh, to the path that will lead us to the Arch Dragon Peak. Is 
Is this the correct one? Um, no, this is not the correct. Elevator. Let me just double check. Yeah, this isn't the correct elevator. Whoopsie. <clears throat> I swear the Earthquake Dungeon is a maze, just like the uh, Fire Rat, just like the Catacombs. Sorry, not the Catacombs, the uh, frickin' Grand Archives. That's what it is. Uh, if we travel... It's kinda near it. Ah, screw it, we'll just, uh, we'll just run. Bye, prison warden. Yeah, bye, zombie trying to kill me. I see this is what I saw earlier. You can see the profane capital from up here. that we might be able to fall right there. It's probably feasible. Yeah, the drop right there will kill you though. Nope. That's okay, we're very close to the uh, <coughs> the entryway. Let's see, we'll go through here, make a right. We'll go ahead and take the ladder this time just so we don't injure ourselves anymore. them. Uh, mosey on past these boys right there. And we will head this way. Okay, these rats are really chasing me. Yeah, if that's what you get. Chasing me everywhere. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead and, uh, and this here. Uh, let's give us a nice, like, mountain scenery. But anyway, as always, thanks for tuning in. I really appreciate it. And I'll catch all of y'all next time. Bye!